My name is Jade Trudenek. I joined K Bikes when I was a junior. And I'm class of 2020. <laughs> Aloha, my name is Leilani Guerrero. I'm a part of the class of 2020 and I joined K Bikes during the 2018 2019 school year. My name is Thomas Kobayashi. I am in the class of 2020. Hi, my name is Cheyenne Sunshine Adams. I'm the class of 2020. I'm a senior and I joined K-Vikes in January 2019. Uh, my name is Julie Hirai. I am a graduate of 2020, class of 2020. And um, I think I joined K-Vikes my freshman year. I joined K-Vikes to be part of the broadcasting team. I started doing live streams, recordings, I joined Cave Bikes because I saw it as an opportunity to make new friends and widen my horizons for my senior year. I joined Cave Bikes because of my friend at first, but then I got to know you guys and you guys are pretty fun, so I was like, oh, I want to hang out with some cool people, you know? Well, my father taught in middle school, and so I've taken an interest being his kid, <laughs> and he would come home with video projects and stuff. And so he got me involved in Hikino um, in seventh grade. And from then on, I kind of had an interest in doing digital media. And so I joined K-Bikes in high school. I think I joined K-Bikes because of its charm. Um, when I first heard about it, it was through um, the seniors in my club at Robotics. Uh, it was really just a simple old 1990s school desk, uh, a very makeshift uh, camera like a uh, set you know um and i just thought like wow this is pretty cool they have like lots of computers and i want to like play games <laughs> i i came here for fun and games and then i came out learned a few things so. hi my name is kamakana people like to call me makana and i am a senior currently graduating in 2020 from hilo high school well, when I joined K-Bikes in my sophomore year, it wasn't even called K-Bikes at that point. It was just me and a couple of friends in the tech room who were just having fun playing video games and cracking jokes with each other. And, the, and Luke is the tech advisor and everything and all the other advisors in there. But eventually Luke wanted help filming something for the school and all of us agreed to go and help out and we had a lot of fun doing it. So we decided to keep doing it. We went out and we were starting filming and we took pictures of things going around there on the school. We learned a lot about the techniques that we need to use about like for filming and for photography. We learned a lot about continuity as well and how that's a big thing in filming. And yeah, we, we, we still take time to have a lot of fun in, in K Lakes though. Like we still do a lot of, in, a lot of inf informative things, but we also take time to have fun and to catch those with each other still yet. We still have a lot of memes and still joke around a lot once again. But yeah. Uh, when I first started K-Bikes, uh, I just tried to help out in the back end, so it was mostly just production, like, assistant. Um, later on, I was given the role of AV head uh, through Caleb Rogers. He trained me during his uh, last few weeks as a senior. Uh, he needed someone to, like, take the spot, so uh, he offered me the job, and then I got in. I started managing um, K-Bikes money handling the club dues, the t-shirts, fundraising. And then I slowly started to disappear from the club as I got busy with work. And then I disappeared at the end of third quarter. Um, I did lot photographies and I did some live streams for wrestling and judo. Oh yeah, and I anchored go for times too. I think the most memorable one was when I continued the Hikino story of the how-to video, how to get an interview. And that was pretty fun. And I think the most memorable stuff I actually did in K-Bikes was the morning bulletin because I had a lot of fun doing those in the beginning. I participated in sports live streams for volleyball and I did a couple basketball with Madison Bartolome who introduced me to the program. Hi, my name is Madison Bartolome. I am a part of the class of 2020 and I joined K-Bikes on October 25th, 2018. I remember that specific date because I was told to come with my friend to a meeting and I didn't know what the meeting was for. It was just join K-Bikes. I'm like, I don't want to join K-Bikes. You're going to like the meeting. Okay, I'll go. 
And then I paid the day of the meeting, got my receipt by the treasurer, and yeah, I joined K-Works. My first job was a camera operator, and my first stream was one of the most important streams of our K Vikes journey, which was at the Afuk Chinin uh, Winter Classic Basketball Tournament. And I didn't know what I was doing, so I was just pushed into the scene as a camera person, and I was just nervous out of my mind. But then I got really comfortable with the whole crew. Then I became the website chair, head chairperson, and that's when I started writing articles for the website and like running our k -Bike social media page, not the Hilo High School. And then I became, as of this year, I was the morning, the k -Bike studio producer with Presley. And we were in charge of morning bulletin. And then as of last night, I am helping out with making my commencement video. One of the really impactful memories was the earthquake. Um, we were getting ready for May Day. Uh, I know it's not really like a fun subject, but I just saw um, all the chaos and like, I remember panicking because the hoops were like shaking. Um, well, everything was, you know, shaking. Um, ele 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 the elevator broke down. Um, I recall rushing to the cameras and trying to like take them down. No, wait, we left, did we leave the cameras? I think we left the cameras, that was really bad. Uh, summer Hikino was fun, to say the least. I went with um, Brandon, Naz, Ethan, and... Naz. And Naz, and Naz, and Naz, yup. If you wonder why, Naz will know. Naz, if you see this, you'll know why I'm saying your name more than once, but yeah. Na uh, this past experience during the summer was hilarious and it was a great learning experience, especially with Brandon being our guide through all of it. He made us learn so much even though we were kind of messing around. Hi, my name is Sonia Jardina. I'm part of the class of 2020 and I joined K-Vikes two years ago. The one take wonder because I bet you can guess I recorded them in one take. <laughs> so I actually started when K-Vikes was live so I started, uh, what, I guess two years ago, I think, um, when we did it live TV. So it wasn't pre-recorded. Um, we came in in the morning, basically recorded it, and that was what was put out. So there was no editing, um, no production, really. Um, so it's definitely changed a lot. We've moved around this room a couple times, started way back there, and now we're here. But we have, now we have, we had fancy green screens and all this new production going on. So it's, it's definitely changed quite a bit from the live days with Harambe in the background, I think. I think that's what it was. <laughs> yeah. Hi, my name is Jennifer Kamimura, and I'm a senior, class of 2020. I got into K-Bikes because as Student Association President, we needed to make announcements. My freshman year, when I was class president, before all of this was so fancy and upgraded, I got to be on K-Bikes when they actually used to broadcast it live in the morning, see us live. So they would like make the screen black and then we would have to run in, say our part, make the screen back and run out. What was the question again? My favorite memory of K-Vikes is walking into the room and going, where's Luke? I need him. It's an emergency. When all I really needed was to make a t-shirt design for the most part. Or to record an announcement or maybe to get the Wi-Fi a couple of times. But for school related purposes only. I also enjoy putting things in Hinano's hair, like staplers. Yep, what? full staplers, scissors. Um, oh, and like really thick post-it, so that's also really fun. My other uh, favorite activity is giving Luke stress and sitting next to him at all times, even though he has far more important things to do. He always helps me whenever I need, and I really appreciate that. So I'm, I'm 5'1", and I sit on this rolling chair because I always sit next to Luke when he's producing my ideas. I just give him my ideas and he just produces it. And there's like the, I don't know what it's called, the thing, the computer, like the actual computer, not the monitor. And there's a big power button. Like who makes the power buttons that big? But my knee, because I'm so short, always just boop. And then his whole computer goes sleep. 
Oh, Cave Links was a lot of fun. Okay, so, huh. I think my most memorable meme was when we made rival gangs in our in our club. So, we made the Owos versus the Uwus, and John tried to make the QQs. We had a lot of them. We even had our own gang signs. Uh, it was like that. Uwu. Uwu. Um, honestly, I can't really share one memory because Cave Bikes has just been an amazing experience in a whole. Every time I walk in the room, it's like walking into family. Like, you don't feel like an outcast in there. Everyone in there is so weird and quirky in their own way, and they just make you feel right at home. And everyone there is so accepting of each other. And the way that we all work together is like no other team I've ever seen. So. Picking one person or one memory is kind of hard because everyone played an intricate role in making me who I am today. But one person that I will shout out is Maddie. She brought me into the to the club and brought me to meet all these amazing people. And without her, I wouldn't be a part of K-Bikes today. I'm a very emotional person. So like if any of the K-Bikes kids are not emotionally well or like just their well-being is not well, then I would step in, feed them, like make sure they're taken care of and happy. Cause like, I, I don't want like our workspace to be all dampered in bad emotions, yes. Because of that, my nickname is Mama Maddie and my kids mean a lot to me. <laughs> I got to make more friends, became more social, Maddie started to like me. Advice. Um, well, like I was gonna say about like like you should like be more involved because it'll make everything fun, right? Uh, it also lets you like open up and experience uh fun. You know, like you can like like actually be true to yourself if you know other people you know who. Yeah, I think this is real good. <laughs> For me, I was able to like open up. Um, certain people told me I was like a robot. Um, I'm not sure about that, but I know that. I had a trait where I had this trait where uh, I was very stone faced. I guess you could say like I didn't really show my emotions. So I guess that's how people say I was a robot. Um, I just did my work and like just went on. Um, but I think because of clubs like Japan Club, robotics, and especially K bikes, right? I was able to be more involved with the Viking community. I always complain that oh I'm so busy. I always have stuff to do. But now that I'm always home, it's so different because now I don't have band, I don't have sports, so I don't have anything to keep myself busy and it's, yeah, it's not weird. <laughs> the work that I was doing was fast paced in the moment, but as I got to learn it, it was more easy to do. Behind the scenes, a lot of hard work, a lot of cleaning, a lot of planning. Sometimes it's stressful, so we have to take a break, watch a little movie, but overall, all the hard work that goes into making K Vikes what K Vikes is is all worth it. I did only want to commentate because that is something that I was comfortable with because you don't have to see your face or you don't have to be in front of a camera or you don't have to worry about people like looking at you. But at the same time, I knew that going into K Vikes, I would have to do something in front of the camera one way or another because signing up isn't, it isn't, it's really selfish if I said I didn't want to and I would refuse. So I feel like, yeah. I kind of joined just to commentate, but at the same time, I'm kind of glad that I was pushed out of my comfort zone and got to be in front of the camera because it taught me how to just brighten, broaden my horizons and just not turn down anything just because you're scared. Mm, if you really want to do something, uh, I mean, you know, you got to do it. Um, I feel like a lot of people might waste their time, right? Uh, I, I like doing other stuff, you know, like mainly playing games, reading, you know, like novels. Well, maybe not everyone, but like, there's this one novel that we really like. What are those people? Which one? Those people playing video games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was a very prominent uh, person who prioritized games and over, you know, uh, studying and stuff. Stop playing video games. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, I think just have fun with it. Uh, everyone there is kind of family now. So it's nice to see that people can really connect with each other through a common interest. <laughs> I highly recommend people who want to join a club that's really dedicated in your success. Uh, like K-Bikes is a really good one. Um, Robotics and Japan Club, I, I think those three clubs are the ones that like really 
changed my high school career, right? I feel like being more involved in you know your school activities, like it's probably boring. You, you know, like there's no reason to really be like involved. Like, why would you go out your way to perform in like the events and lots and rallies, right? But once you do, like, I feel like you can just express yourself to be free. Like, there's people, you know, your peers that you can relate to. Like, they let me open up and be who I want to be. Do work for the school, right? And then not only that, you get to involve. Like I remember, just like running the camera for one of the competitions, right? And I just like asked like my supervising. Uh, well, I just asked you like, hey, um, I kind of want to really do this. Um, like we got spirit, like you know that cheer, right? And every time I like I love to scream my uh, voice out for some reason. Uh, you know, if you know me, that's not really something I do in public, but like. For some reason, I do so in you know those lots and rallies. But um, I asked Luke like, "Hey, uh, I'm manning this ca uh, camera, but like, do you think I can just like run over there because like you know, uh, I'm not. Well, I mean, I guess I was needed, but you know, like I wanted to do that. Yeah, I kind of lost it right now. But like being involved in the school really lets you, um, I guess, be a part of something. KVX is one of those clubs that we are crucial to like Hilo High School. And we work from all day long, really, and preparing for live streams or what we're gonna do to make the school better, and how we could how we could help like broaden our community life. Yes. So I think if you join K Bikes, you should have like that community perspective, and not only oh I'm joining it because. I want to do this, but I want to do this for Hilo High School. I want to do this for Hilo. And that's what KVX does. And if you're going to join the KVX program, I suggest you're going to be committed. Make sure you don't piss off Luke, don't get him annoyed. And do your best. All I can say is listen to Luke, don't get him mad. Uh, Hinano, not so much. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Listen to Hinano too. Do your parts, do your job. Um, everybody's important in Cave Bikes. You always have something to do. And if you want to make new friends, Cave Bikes is a place you can go to too. Some pretty cool people there. Yeah. It's kind of a surprise to me because I just walked in one day and they asked me to be in the video. And it was a great experience because I got to see how much work that students could do when they were being student-led, when they led themselves, and how much cooperation matters when it comes to production and how the team works well together. I mean, whatever you end up doing in KVikes, whether it's anchoring or editing or video stuff, um, I think it was really beneficial to me just to kind of learn how to be in front of a camera and be comfortable reading things right off the bat. I mean, learn how to be a one take wonder as they call me. Um, I didn't start I didn't start off that way, right? I made mistakes and I still do. Um, but I've definitely learned how to be more comfortable and if anchoring's not for you, you can learn all this crazy stuff about video editing and production and it's just kind of really all around an awesome club to be in, um, especially for the people and they really care about this school. And it's a cool way to be a part of the school and be engaged with the morning announcements and everything. And yeah, I don't know. If you're interested in anything in the production TV realm, go for it. Try it out. There's many things for you. <laughs> I really appreciate K Bikes because it not only has taught me to be a better speaker, but how to be engaging to the audience. K Bikes has actually inspired me from being an event planner to actually wanting to be a news broadcaster because not only is it a stable job, but I'll get to be fun and creative, and I really appreciate the creative outlets I have in my life. The best way to learn more is just by doing it, so um, yeah, just keep practicing. <laughs> um, just come into Cave Lakes and be open-minded. Don't be so constricted because this program can literally make you into the best person ever. It can stretch you beyond what you think you can do, and it'll just open so many doors for you. Um, also, don't take everything so serious in here. This environment that they create for you, it might be a working environment, but just know you need to be creative to be here. And don't be afraid to be yourself and be creative because that's where the best content comes from. So yeah, 
Have fun, guys. Don't take it for granted because time really does go by really fast. When Luke says, leave your ego at the door, just do it. I'm glad you guys took me back in after like leaving the program for like a month and a half because I flew back to San Francisco. But like, thank you for making this a home for me where I could spend so much hours and like, and like all the relationships that I made.